In this video, we're going to be creating a new button right here, and this button's going to autofill our address information for us. So let's say, for example, the user is shopping on your website or something, and they purchase something, they already filled out all this information, now they want to go and create a brand new account, and you have this address information in memory. You could have it where it autofills the form from the TS file, like it automatically gets the user's information, autofills this, and then allows them to fill out other sections of the form. So we'll set up a button here and it'll be an autofill button. It will automatically populate this address information. So if we go to the checklist, it's going to be a pretty short video. All we'll do is we'll use the patch value method that the form group gives us to update a section of our form. Let's open up the sign up TS file. We'll start in there. And then right up here at the top, I'm going to uh, paste in some static information, some address information. So paste it here. And this information you could get actually anywhere. So let's say, for example, the user purchased something, they already bought something, and now they want to create an account, and you have this information in memory somewhere, their address information. You could set it up where you automatically fill in the address information for them, and that's what we'll set up. So now that we have this static information, I just paste it in this component, but you could be getting this from anywhere. Uh, let's create a method so when the user clicks on the method to autofill their address, uh, we'll have that set up. So we'll create a method right here where you call it anything you want. I'll call it like autofill address. And then now we're going to call our, our form group and that was called user form. And in here we have a whole list of methods. Before we were checking out some of them like reset. This resets the whole entire form back to the default, even errors and everything like that. And here you could set certain, you set all the values for the form, but we're going to be using what's called patch value. So let's use that. Then in here, uh, you, you close it up like this and it's an object. And then you want to call whatever you want to update. So in this case, we're updating the address and make sure I close that up and update whatever you want. I'll update everything. So start off with the street. Okay, so that's all the information we want to update. So when the user clicks on a button and we call this method, this section should automatically be filled for us. So now that our TS file is done, uh, let's set up our HTML. So if we go uh, up to our HTML here, and then we're gonna create a brand new button inside of here. So copy this. So copy, and then I'll just add it right below it. And then I'll save it so it formats it for me. Instead of calling clear, we'll call that new method we created. So auto fill address. And get rid of this. And then instead of snow plow, and then reset or uh, auto fill address or something like that. Okay, and this should work. Save this. And let's check this out in the browser. And if we check out the form, and that looks pretty good, I'll change the color pretty soon. But if we click on this, this should autofill our form automatically for us. So we click on this, and it did. So that's a nice feature to have if uh, you ever have a form and you want to just update parts of it. Now keep in mind, there's a whole list of different methods, like I said before, uh, that you definitely want to check out. Like we only experimented with a couple of them, and we'll be using more in the future, like set value. We're already using the reset. Let's actually go back here and click on the uh, clear. That should clear everything out. Click on this, hit save, check out the console. And we go in here. We should have all our new information in here. So that's great. Uh, let's change the color to that button. So now that that is done, in the next video, what we'll do is we're going to be injecting a form builder service in the next video. So I'll see you then.